It's nice, nice and sunny! sunny. <laughs>just arrived it's um, nine in the morning I got up this morning at three <laughs> uh, taxi came at five and uh, I can't check into the room and so hotel is over there and the casino is over there which is perfect I, I didn't even imagine that it's so close and so cool um, but the casino only opens at 12 so I have three hours now to kill and I'm going to try and walk into the city center because um, I think it's not that far. I've been to Glasgow once before. I don't know if there's much to show. <laughs> um, let's, let's see what we can find. Um, basically, I'm trying to look for just a place where I can sit, have like basically brunch and work on my computer a bit. That would be perfect. Um, otherwise, some of my friends are around, but they don't seem to be awake yet. So. I'll just go ahead and, and do the walk myself. And the reason I'm here, here's a um, 220 pound buy-in tournament. The thing is, uh, it's for in Ireland, it's a bank holiday weekend. So I'm off on Monday. So with Ryanair, it was only 60 euros return. So I decided that's, uh, that's a good idea to go for a, for a poker event. So I'm not sure if I'm on the wrong way. I'll just keep walking. know what the river is but below that is the casino so I just walked all the way up here and now as you can see I am here and where I want to go is there and I'll tell you why in a bit to come here is the last time I was in Glasgow was like uh, 2012 I think or 11 and I did a road trip around Northern England and Scotland and um, what I didn't know was when I arrived in Glasgow they were filming um, for World War Z or World War Z or how you call it with Brad Pitt so this square was actually um, closed so the sightseeing buses wouldn't go past here so I didn't see the square uh, I actually have no idea what about the historical significance, so sorry if I can't deliver uh, that. But um, yeah, so they were filming the movie here and I actually saw um, while I was driving through the city that at some point uh, one of the roads was like filled with people all staring in one direction, but because I was driving I couldn't actually look. So I don't know uh, if I could have seen Brad Pitt in action uh, or like zombies running around or something, I have no idea. Successfully killed. It's 
spent half an hour just sitting on the bench so one and a half hours successfully killed also I'm quite uh, lucky with the with the weather it said that it'd be raining um, and it's only going to be like nice later today but at the moment it's nice there's some dark clouds so I have to be careful but uh, I think I'm quite lucky lucky day I actually found a penny as well found a penny collected it lucky with the weather and I got an extra bigger coffee at Starbucks so it's already a lucky day let's see if I can turn that into some profit in the poker later Cafe Wonder is my next stop. I actually had checked uh, TripAdvisor and this was uh, recommended and I need some brunch, uh, some food. And uh, this looks good. I like it. Okay, it did start raining now, um, but that was uh, hands down the best tuna melt panini I've ever had in my life. So if you ever get to Glasgow, um, believe TripAdvisor here. bought in 220 pound buy-in I still have like three quarters of an hour before it starts so I'm going to just chill and wait for my for my friends to show up this is quite interesting it's um, total rewards so um, apparently this casino is part of Caesars um, so I didn't know there was a, a UK version of total rewards I only know it from America so poker is not going Perfectly, I'm quite short now, but the problem is that the football is on, and this is what I have to deal with here. It's far too loud. Okay, wow, that was something. <laughs> I made it into day two, but um, with only 20 big blinds, but it's, it's, it's all right. I was down to nine big blinds at some point. Uh, sucked out with jacks against, uh, uh, with eight uh, against jacks. So I hit the eight on the river. And then I, I managed to double up a few times. So I'm still in 20 big blinds when I come back tomorrow. Um, my stress levels are just completely through the roof. Um, the noise was absolutely unbearable. <laughs> Um, I had to sit there and play with earplugs, um, trying to tell the dealer the bed size was impossible. So I'm super stressed and I'll now go. It's only uh, 20 past 10, so that's good. And I'm going to finally get to my hotel room now and uh, get some, some rest. Sometimes I regret I'm not a smoker anymore because uh, I completely missed out that you could go up on this balcony here with a nice view of the river uh, Clyde, right? River Clyde it is, <laughs> yeah, Bonnie and Clyde. Um, so yeah, um, I, I'm starting with 20 big blinds, so um, that's not a lot. Um, I have to get lucky. Um, I was quite lucky yesterday to actually make it through today too. I hope I haven't used up all the luck. Um, I was in a really bad mood yesterday and I'm rarely in a bad mood. But um, having to play with the noise with that uh, football match on was absolutely horrendous. The day was quite cool though. It was like I started in, in the second hand. Um, I had pocket queens and I flopped a set and my opponent had kings and I just doubled up in the second hand. <laughs> it was incredible. But then nothing happened and I was just, uh, every hand I played I lost and it was just such a grind. And in the end I got lucky enough to, to double up in the uh, important uh, moments and then I uh, survived the day. Um, anyway, um, even if I 
won't survive. I will just stick around here a bit, I think, and just enjoy the, the atmosphere. It's, it's actually quite a nice casino. Just like the decision, again, with the, having the football in the same room as the poker was just a bad decision. Um, but I will stick around here, maybe play some cash game if I don't make it. But at the moment, the goal is make the final table and win this. Okay, craziness. This day was like, I always had just between five and ten big blinds, so I just couldn't get anything going. And it was absolutely no poker, basically. It was just all in, fold, 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 all in, fold, 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 fold. So that wasn't, wasn't poker, it wasn't, yeah, wasn't good. I couldn't show that I can actually play. So, and the thing is, from 40, how many were we? 46 players that started the day? Um, nine are left, and I made it. I'm at the final table. Um, I'm not even that short. I'm, I'm, I'm sh shortish, um, but it's the final table. I got 1,000 pounds locked up, um, but first prize is 11,000 pounds. So that's obviously what I'm going for. It will be tough, but I'm going to try it. <laughs> Final table. All right, whoever sits. Smile. Three, two, one. Woo! <laughs> right, losers lounge. Uh, I made it to the final table. I actually busted somebody right uh, right away. Um, had. 450k, which was like big line was 20k, so it put me in a good position to actually do something. Um, and then a guy, um, well, basically we got it in. He had ace queen suited. I had queens, and the ace comes right as the door card. Um, then I was crippled to about five big blinds, just as I did the whole day, uh, and finally got it in with. Queen nine suited against ace ten off suit and lost. So that's it. Cash for one thousand three hundred pounds, which is nice. Two percent going to rec charity, of course. And then um, I sold obviously something. So it's not all my money, but it's good to pay for a lot of the cost that I had to actually travel here, which is awesome. And I can use that money for the next trip. So. All good, all good. It was fun, and um, I'm I'm glad to make another fire table. And I got my first uh, Scottish flag on the hand mob. And tomorrow, the plan is because my flight is relatively late. The plan is to have lunch and try some original Scottish haggis. Good night. So I said good night too early. I'm actually <laughs> I'm at the bar with one of the uni ambassadors who doesn't have a patch on. Pretend, so just pretend. pretend that. Ian, and you've seen Ian before, by the way. He's been like in my uh, Irish, in the Irish, <laughs> in the Irish <laughs> Open vlog. So um, he invited me to a drink, and I, uh, I said, okay, teach me how to drink a whiskey. So we got an Oban 14. Oban so 14. Nose. Nose. Oh wow. Okay. I okay. Why do you... Palm? Palm or Palm's what? But now I have it on my... <laughs> smell. Okay. Different smells? Yeah, it did, yeah. yeah. Smell the... It doesn't smell, smell here. It doesn't smell the same as on the... But now I have like my... <laughs> they used to use it as perfume, because it smells lovely. Oh. And... <laughs> Yeah, whiskey perfume now. Oh, isn't that how whiskey actually happened? That people wanted like it was supposed to be like a. a, a it was, it was used to perfume. Was so this, this now has a drop of water in. Okay, a drop of water. Smell. Do I have to put it on my hand again? Right? No, well, you can if you want. Okay. So all these different things with these different smells. Yeah. Some people like ice, some people don't. Okay. And now we drink it and just now enjoy drink. it. And you just like uh, sip and, and that's it. Just you don't, why do people say shoot a whiskey? Because people are dicks and people drink. Bad whiskey. No, if, you, if you're doing that, if you're doing that, it's not, it's not good. You have to pay the man. Well, fuck. <laughs> he's, he's just standing there patiently waiting for us. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Cheers. See? Okay. I, I get what you say, but it's more smoky than, than Jameson. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Ian, for that lesson. Um, I will. I will now um, continue my whiskey education. Yes. We've got all. Look at all these. We're gonna try. We're gonna have a great night. Great night. <laughs> yeah, and we, and we. Well, at least I made some money today. You done good. <laughs> Boom. Good night. <laughs> It 
is Monday, bank holiday in the Isle of, uh, in, in, in the Isle of Man, I say in Ireland, but not here in Scotland. And the um, Uber driver just dropped me off back in the city centre. And the plan is to go and eat some haggis before taking the uh, flight back. Alright, I like the look of this. Um, it's, it's a seafood restaurant, uh, Rogano but it got recommended for haggis um, by somebody in the casino. So I'm definitely going to try the haggis here. Um, maybe some seafood as a starter or so, I don't know, let's see. I'm waiting for Daiva right now. Um, she's coming in a bit. I don't know if she's bringing anybody else, but it might be just her and me. Because um, we said before the trip that we would like to have some, some original, traditional uh, haggis. Um, so that's what we're going for. This was just such a cool trip with um, having another focus success. And I'm, I'm just really happy hanging out with friends. And it's, it's really awesome. So I'm, I'm looking forward to wrapping this up having some nice food uh, and then going back to to Dublin and just going back to work tomorrow basically back on the normal grind stay tuned I, I don't have any trips planned uh, as of yet for the next uh, poker trip or something but there might be some poker in Dublin there might be some other things that I do in Dublin uh, to report about and do a vlog about um, so subscribe to my channel to get notifications so that you don't miss anything when the next thing comes up and don't forget to like and, and leave comments if you if you want to See you soon. Thought that rip's getting worse and worse as the week. I know. Oh, that's sexy. <laughs> yeah. A little bit of, 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 of Jordy white bag. Sunny it's nice! Oh, nice. Uh, <laughs> you're shite. Okay, one, two, three. It's nice and sunny! Oh, nice and sunny or sunny. Okay, yeah. One more? Okay. So, oh so it's, it's nice and sunny. We're okay. professional ambassadors. One, I know, two, we've done this before. Three.